Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sublimation Life. Today we're going to be working in Cricut Design Space. They recently did another update, which included a brand new feature, which we're all super excited about. As you can see what's on the screen, we can now warp text within Cricut Design Space. Before you can do the warping method, there are a few steps we have to go through. And then there's also a couple of pros and cons that I wanna go over. And I'll go over those cons with you here just shortly. But let's go ahead and start with just how do we get the warp feature on our Cricut Design Space. As you can see throughout here, you can't see anything that would have to do with the warping. That's because I am currently in the live version. They have a beta version that you do have to update to. So we'll go up to the little three marks up in your upper left corner. Go ahead and click on that. Go down to settings. Your design space settings will pop up. You'll stay under general. Go to application experience. Now, as you can see, I am in the live functional design space. We do want to mark over to beta. So go ahead and save your project and then click beta and then go ahead and click done. It will close out of canvas design space, but it'll reopen back up for you. All right. So you can see that design space opened back up and now go to your upper taskbar here. And right here, it's not highlighted yet, but you can see that little warp button. That is your text warp button. And that's how we're gonna warp our text. So let me go ahead and get a clean canvas here. And we'll go over to the left taskbar where your text icon is, that is still the same. And then I'm gonna go up to font. I'm going to go ahead and change my font to my system fonts and I like the always groovy. The downloadable link will be in the descriptions for you if you want to try this font. We'll go ahead and do some words. I'll do live, laugh, and love. I'll go ahead and just duplicate this three times and then change the wording. So we'll change that one to laugh and to love. And then I like to go ahead and organize mine before I do my warping because then you kind of know where you're at as far as lining up and centering. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of them, go up to my align function and center horizontally. That's the up and down alignment, just like that. Now I like that, that's pretty cute. So we'll go ahead and just kind of center that now to get the warping effect i'm going to start with the middle one go ahead and highlight the word or text that you're um, going to warp you'll go up to the warp function now there's one thing i mentioned the con the very big con about this is that you do have to have a cricut access subscription to be able to use the warp function um, I did a tutorial previously where you have an app, it's called Photopea, that doesn't require any subscription, it's a free app. So there are alternatives. For the Photopea tutorial, I'll go ahead and link that up above and in the descriptions, just as an alternative way of doing the warping method. But if you already do have the Cricut Access, then this works great. I didn't before, but to be able to show you, I went ahead and did the free trial just to try it out. So I'll go ahead and check it out. And you can see it comes up with all different ways to warp the text. Um, it is in beta, as you can see, has the icon for the all access. And there is 24 of them at this time. Um, they'll probably produce more, just kind of depends on how it goes. What I'm going to go ahead and do is just select this kind of circular outer one. We'll highlight that and it'll automatically change your text to that warp effect. I'll go ahead and move my other words just a little bit away, just like that. And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other two words. 
I think we'll go ahead and do this one for the top and we'll do the same one but for the bottom. So you can see how easy it is to use that function. What I do kind of like about this is that you can make it wider and it'll adjust still to that warp effect. So if you widen it a little bit, you can also make it shorter, taller, whatever your preference is going to be. But that's how you kind of get that effect. Again, there's several of them as you saw before. And also with the warp effect, which I like, is that I can still use the offset. So we'll go ahead and just put one in there. I usually like to do a 0.08. It just seems to look nice for me. So we'll do that. It'll come out like that, but I'm going to go ahead and change the colors here in just a moment. All right, so you can see we have our offsets and our letters. And then from here, you go ahead and just change colors to whatever you want to have. And then from here, you can go ahead and just group your offset and your uh, first text. And that way you can move them without messing up the alignments. So we'll do that. And then highlight all of it and just recenter. You can also do an even distribution, which I like to do. It just makes the spaces even as well. Kind of like that. That one's a little off, but you get the idea with that. So that is how you use the brand new feature for warping the text. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if it was helpful for you, go ahead and boop that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share for others so that they can get helped as well. Have a wonderful day and happy crafting.